Situated on the southwest edge of Saskatchewan's Athabasca Basin, the Patterson Uranium District in Northern Canada has proven to be one of the most prolific new uranium regions in the world. Interest in the area was prompted decades ago by the abundance of graphitic conductors that run across the district. These conductors represent one of the primary targets when exploring for uranium in the Athabasca Basin. The center package is known as the Patterson Lake Corridor, and over the last decade, work there has led to the discovery of hundreds of millions of pounds of uranium. Seen here within their respective claim lines, the principal explorers include Fission Uranium Corp, currently developing their world-class Triple R project. To the north is NextGen Energy's Rook One project, host to their Aero Deposit, the largest undeveloped high-grade uranium deposit in the world. Continuing north, Purepoint Uranium Group operates a Hook Lake Joint Venture Project with their partners Chemical Corp, one of the world's largest nuclear fuel providers, and Orano Canada, a subsidiary of the Orano Group, an international nuclear energy company headquartered in Paris, France. Today, work continues on the development of discoveries made to date and the ongoing exploration of this uranium-rich trend. Although there was significant historic work in the area, the real action began in 2011, when Fission identified a field of radioactive boulders that had been spread from their source as glaciers moved across the province. The following year, in 2012, Fission's drill program successfully discovered the high-grade PLS zone. During this same period, NextGen had been carrying out extensive exploration work to the north. Those efforts paid off in 2013 with the first of many high-grade intersections at their RIC-1 project. The final hole of Purepoint's 2014 drill program returned high-grade uranium assays that would soon come to be known as the Spitfire Zone. By 2015, Fission had completed a significant amount of drilling and engineering work at PLS and released their first preliminary economic assessment for RRR based on an indicated resource of over 81 million pounds of uranium. On the heels of the Spitfire discovery, more exploration work was carried out on targets in and around that area. Soon more high-grade successes were announced. NextGen successfully made their bow discovery, while Purepoint saw more high-grade returns at their lower Spitfire zone. In 2016, more work in the same area identified NextGen's harpoon discovery and Purepoint's upper Spitfire zone. By this time, NextGen was well along on its work at their aero deposit, and in 2017, they released their preliminary economic assessment based on an indicated resource of nearly 165 million pounds of uranium. To the north, additional drilling and interpretive work fully defined the Spitfire deposit. Concurrent drilling by Purepoint further along the Patterson Corridor had identified two additional mineralized shears, the Hornet Zone and the Dragon Zone. On December 20th, 2018, NextGen announced their pre-feasibility study on the Aero Project based on a staggering 256.6 million pounds of U-308. In the last year, large step-outs from the Dragon Zone identified additional mineralized shears at the Hook Lake Project. More clues surfaced last year at the release of the federal government's gravity survey of the Patterson Uranium District. The gravity survey calculates the density property of subsurface materials. The higher gravity values seen here in pink indicate denser rock, while the lower values in blue are the least dense. What is striking is the location of the now known mineralized zones. All seem to sit tightly within the transition areas falling away from the high density areas. So where are we today? Fission first discovered Triple R with their 25th hole in the area. They then went on to spend $77 million to prove out the resource. Similarly, NextGen tapped into Arrow on hole 21 and spent $55 million on the estimation of their resource. Spitfire was found with hole 13 and was defined with the investment of an additional $5 million. Within Hook Lake, the Patterson Corridor continues for eight kilometers beyond Spitfire and so far only $15 million has been spent in testing those targets. As early work continues north, extensive geophysics and early drilling in the Sabre Zone demonstrate the potential for the Patterson Corridor to continue providing Canada with new world-class uranium assets.